Hey guys, Justin Main here, and in today's video, today's mano a mano vlog video, I will tell you the absolute scariest moment of my life. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Just a few uh, updates and a few things I wanted to talk about before I get into my story. Uh, number one, these badass Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Cheez-Its literally just went to Meyer today and I found these on the shelf and they have these cool little Jurassic Park character designs on there. So pick these up now. Cheez-Its are one of my favorite snack crackers of all time. So if you combine Jurassic Park and Cheez-Its together, I'm probably going to eat it. I'm probably going to eat a whole damn hell of a lot of it. Uh, this is also really exciting to me because this means that Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom merchandise will be out soon. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to be broke. Second cool thing that I found, finally, were the Jurassic Park pop vinyls. I got Dennis Nedry. And... Everybody's favorite chaotician, Ian Malcolm, when I went to Chicago over the weekend. Uh, I also, they were out of it at the store, but they, uh, I also ordered the Jurassic Park uh, T-Rex pop vinyl, which I am super excited about. So I'm waiting for that to come here. Uh, just, again, they didn't have it on stock, but I am also going to be extremely broke after I collect all of these because I am a huge pop vinyl fan. Um, and the fact that I've always wanted a Jurassic Park pop vinyl um, is really exciting to me. So uh, I, I can't wait to have the entire line. I'll probably have two of everything because I want to display some and then keep some in the box because that I'm a nerdy collector and that's what nerdy collectors do. We do irrational things because we love a certain thing and my certain thing is Jurassic Park. Also, if anybody has eyes on Sexy Malcolm, please let me know. Last but not least, I finally got the Jurassic Justin t-shirts back in stock after a lot of demand. So if you are interested in purchasing one yourself, I'm selling them for $20 online, flat rate, and it includes an 8x10 if you order online. I have sizes from small to 2X, so please let me know if you're interested. If you do want to purchase one, just let me know on Facebook, Instagram at Justin Main Official or Twitter and Snapchat at Justin Main Off. Um, if you'd like to order online, again, I use PayPal and um, Square. So just let me know and I could definitely get that to you ASAP. Otherwise, you can see me on March 10th in RCW in Indiana. You can see me March 17th at Blue Water Championship Wrestling in Port Huron, Michigan, on the 18th at XICW Proving Ground in Warren, Michigan, then on the 24th for Clash Wrestling at Taylor Town Trade Center in Taylor, Michigan. So if you'd like to buy a shirt live and support me locally, that'd be fantastic and I would highly appreciate it. All right, so for today's mano a mano subject, it is going to be about the absolute scariest moment of my life. And no, I do not mean the morning after a huge Mediterranean food binge. While that is scary, that is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the scariest moment of my life. And it occurred in a wrestling match back in 2011, I believe. Um, and I was wrestling for this promotion called Main Event Championship Wrestling based out of Alliance, Ohio. Um, my opponent for that evening was Christian Vaughn, and if you know anything about Christian Vaughn, and hopefully you guys know about me because you're watching my channel, but um, if you know anything about us, we have uh, a tendency to be a bit snug, which means that we hit a little bit harder in our wrestling matches. So, especially between him and I, we always had a, had a common goal of trying to one-up each other. So that was a, a story that we, we always like to tell in our matches. And in this particular one, I believe it was all, actually also our first official matchup. Um, it kind of came to a head. 
uh, where during the heat, where okay, so if you don't, if you're not familiar with what a heat is, a heat is basically where the the bad guy or the heel of the match is taking over and beating up the good guy or the baby face. Um, I was a baby face. Christian was a heel, and during the heat, we had this um, one moment where he was going to give me this big lariat or a clothesline, um, which is basically where the guy takes his arm and basically tries to kill you. Um, so we had the spot where he was going to give me a lariat, and if you've seen any of my prior work, which I'm hoping you have, then you should know that I have a tendency to over-rotate or over-flip on certain moves. I like doing it because it makes the move look more impactful, and I think it just makes everything, I think it adds a little bit of a flair uh, to my style and to my matches. So I used to do these all the time, um, and I never had an issue. So I would over-rotate, sometimes I'd even land on my shoulder and it looked like I landed on my neck and I was completely fine. I had this whole process down pat, I never had any issues with it, um, it was never a big deal. But in this one particular moment, when I took this move, two problems occurred. Number one, um, I went straight down as opposed to um, taking a second to bump. So I, I didn't give myself enough time to prepare for it and I just went straight down. Number two, Christian hit me a little bit harder than I was expecting and it, again, sent me down a little bit faster than I could control. So when I got hit with the lariat, I went straight down right onto the back of my head. I didn't roll to my shoulder um, and I knew something was up as soon as I came to, about 10 minutes later. Um, everything was a blur, it was a black, I mean, everything went straight black as soon as I hit. Um, and then I came to about like, from what I was told about 10 minutes later, and I was looking straight in the eyes with my girlfriend at the time, who was also my, um, my ring manager. And I was looking at her dead in the eyes, and I remember my hand being outstretched right in front of me. I tried to grab her hand, she tried to grab mine, and I couldn't move my fingers at all. So I looked down and I tried to move my feet and I couldn't move my feet. It was at this point that I realized that I was paralyzed. And, you know, <laughs> Yeah, I, I had fears of anything with stingers like bees and wasps, uh, heights, uh, many a moon ago, um, failure, abandonment, all that stuff. But nothing compared to how scary this exact moment was when I thought that I was paralyzed from the neck down for life. Um, I started processing what that meant, which basically means that I'd have to retire, obviously but I wouldn't be able to play with my kids. I wouldn't be able to move without help. I, I wouldn't be able to get in and out of bed. I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things. And it scared me absolutely shitless um, at that moment when I thought that I was, I was my life was drastically altered. Um, I still think back to it occasionally. It's still a thought in my mind. Um, Especially every single time I wrestle, um, because of how it affected me from then on forward after that. Um, it wasn't too long after that that I started regaining the, the mobility in my hands and in my feet. I was able to start moving again. I think it was maybe another five or ten minutes after that, um, after I came to, that I was able to get um, helped out of the ring and into the back. But that moment was easily the, the scariest moment, th the scariest thing I've ever done, or I've ever gone through. Um, and it, but in a, in a more positive light, it actually kind of changed how I looked at life. Um, prior to that, I never really realized what being in the moment meant. And then after that, I started really thinking about how much I was missing because I was always constantly worried about the future or what happened in the past. I started thinking that we are only guaranteed the second that we are living on every single day. You're not guaranteed the next minute, you're not guaranteed the next five minutes, the next 10 minutes, the next hour, the next day, the next year, the next whatever. You're not guaranteed any of that. 
Anything can happen. You can get hit by a car, you could fall off a cliff, you could have a heart attack, you could choke on food and die. Um, and while I don't like to live my life in fear of what could possibly happen, what it made me do was start realizing that if I don't take advantage of that exact second, if I don't take advantage of what's going on at that exact moment right then and there, then I'm missing the, uh, I'm missing the, the point of life and I'm missing the reason for living. We are never guaranteed any, anything. And if we focus on everything else outside of the exact moment that we're living in, then you can miss some real, truly beautiful stuff. And it was after that accident that I started thinking in that manner. And I never, I decided I, I, it was something that I really wanted to focus on going forward. And I try to take advantage of every single opportunity that's given to me, no matter what. I try not to say no to stuff because, again, you, you never know when your time is going to be up. And you'll never be able to do it again. So that was my scariest moment ever. I'd like to hear yours, so please comment below. I'll reply back, I'll respond back. I wanna hear uh, what you went through. So please, let's start a conversation. I think it'd be really cool. Um, if you like what you saw with my mano a mano vlog video, please subscribe. I'll have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please stay on the lookout for that. If you want notifications immediately when I upload a video, click on that little bell icon. If you want to follow me on social media, my Facebook and Instagram are Justin Main Official, and my Snapchat and Twitter are Justin Main Off. If you have any inquiries for bookings or anything of that nature, please email me at justinmainofficial at gmail.com. Until next time, guys, stay starstruck.